Now, you might remember how last month the former rugby league player Rob Burrow, who has motor neurone disease, was pushed around a marathon course in Leeds by his great friend Kev Sinfield. Well, Rob took part in another event yesterday, but his helpers this time a little bit smaller. Father's Day for Rob. Yeah. Lovely to see them all taking part together. Well done, team. Uh, we've talking, been talking about the weather quite a lot already this morning. Yep. Carol has the latest forecast for us. Morning, Carol. Good morning both. Good morning to you too. You know, after all that rain that crossed England and Wales yesterday, for some, it is a sunny start to the day, as we can see there in Wales, but there are showers around. We've also got the rain pushing northwards. It's still heavy. There still is a Met Office weather warning out for it, a yellow one, but through the day, that will turn more showery in nature. And then for all of us, we're looking at a mixture of sunshine and showers. So don't take literally where you can see the showers on this chart. As temperatures rise, they could pop up almost anywhere, but we won't all catch one. But they're likely to be heavy and potentially thundery across Northern Ireland especially. And you can see how the heavy rain of this morning across Scotland it does turn more showery through the afternoon. Here it will be fresher, highs of 15 degrees, but generally 21, maybe 26 in the southeast. And once again, it's going to feel quite humid. Now, through this evening and overnight, the showers pull away. There'll be a lot of dry, clear skies, and we'll also see some mist and fog patches forming. Then we've got some more torrential rain coming in across southwest England, Wales, the south and west Midlands, possibly that bit further east, and that's likely to be thundery too. It's going to be a humid night, so a humid start to the day as this rain continues to journey northwards and eastwards. Showers across the northwest of Scotland merging through the day and behind the band of rain, we're back into that mixture of sunshine and showers. These are our temperatures, another humid day, 16 to about 24 or 25. And if you're heading off to Glastonbury this week, well, on Wednesday, especially in the afternoon, there is the chance of a shower, but for the rest of the week, can you believe your eyes? It's actually looking pretty dry, warm and sunny. But if anything, the pollen levels will be high or very high. Salon John. Carol, thank you very much indeed. Do you know what? From my experience of going to Glastonbury, sometimes it's rain on the Wednesday that causes the biggest problem though, oh, isn't it? Because it gets all the ground gets muddy yes. and then it gets churned up with the arrivals. But then by Saturday anyway. it's gorgeous and sunny. So yeah. Yeah, and that's even true. warmer, even warmer on Sunday actually by the really? looks of it at the okay. moment. Good yes. stuff. And Carol. sunny and dry. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, now, last month, the football legend, Graham Souness, told us here on Breakfast he was taking on the challenge of swimming the channel. He was inspired by a 14-year-old girl named Isla who has a rare skin condition called EB. And yesterday, Graham completed the 21-mile journey as part of a six-person relay team. John Maguire has been following his story. He's in Dover and he joins us now.